actions were honourable. In the altercation at the end. Let's find out how you did. Correct! Great Scott, that was fast. With nary a hiccup. Well done. Why aren't you tear? Huh? Ah, thought you'd come back for another drive, hmm? Oh, oh, wait a minute. It's too... Oh, better. Now then. You're not my assailant. What can I do for you, then, hmm? After a little while, you managed to explain who you are and ask what happened. Did the gentleman see who tried to steal the statue? <laughs> no. Now then, eh? <laughs> I didn't get a good look at him, I'm afraid. Had a hat on, pulled down low. Asked to buy my statue. I said no. So, eh... <laughs> He tried to take it. You ask about the statue, mentioning it bears a strong resemblance to the one Moses took from Riddle Manor. <laughs> well, 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 <laughs> so it should. There were three made, each with... Oi, that's quite enough for that. This is a police investigation, and this is a crime scene. I want no more interference from you. Well, sharpish. You're left with little choice but to depart. But your mind is in a whirl. Three statues. Was the one Moses stole one of these three? Though the fire was only this very morning, the ever-efficient clerk has matters well in hand, and the redecoration of the town hall has already commenced. Good afternoon. I am, in fact, very glad to see you. It's been a most trying day, and I find myself at quite a loss. I had a very precise filing system, but I'm now so tired I cannot seem to remember how they were arranged before. I wonder, could you perhaps sort them for me? The clerk needs help with... Are you marvellous or moronic? Huzzah! 
Gosh, you got through that one, lickety split. Oh, and aren't you the smug one? No mistakes. There are no words sufficient to this. With the filing system arranged appropriately, you ask permission to head down to the archives. I'm sorry to have to inform you that the inspector has insisted you be granted no access to the archives. He has declared them a crime scene and quite inviolable. So as long as I'm on duty, he said, I am not to let you pass. However, I am off duty this evening. You appear to have more allies in this investigation than the inspector. From the moment you're ushered into the abode of Mrs. Bothersome, you are keenly aware that this isn't going to be easy. The corpse of a sherry bottle is silent testament as to the afternoon's activities. You soldier on regardless and eventually ask what the issue is with the doctor. Oh, I'm sure we just can't say. <laughs> we certainly can't, not out loud. Just wouldn't be polite. Exactly. Indeed. Do have a piece of shortbread. You're about to protest when you glance down and notice that the proffered biscuits are more than simply sugary sustenance. There are six pieces... How you did! Ah, spot on! All wrapped up already, great heavens! And without a single error being made. You deserve so much more, but this will have to do. Make the bold assumption that the doctor is arranging assignations with the librarian. Your assumption seems correct, as you are answered with a great gale of girlish giggles. <laughs> oh, absolutely. So bold and brazen, mind you, is not the only one to have shown her attention. Yes, well, we don't need to be spreading such nonsense now, do we? That Mrs. Gossip shows a certain reticence in discussing this story is unusual, but you catch her eyes flicking to a picture on the mantelpiece. In it, the constable stands beside Mrs. Gossip, and her every inch the proud mother. Armed with more information than perhaps the old dears intended, you depart. You arrive back at the hotel in time for dinner, so you head straight for the dining room. However, nothing is ever simple in this establishment. Oh, no, 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 I don't think so. No dogs in the dining room. Mm -hmm. What? What? No unaccompanied dogs in the... I... Oh. Look, get this lot seated. I'll get the mutt before my wife sees him. I'd like to live through the night if that's quite all right. Come back, you mutt! Once again, you find yourself working for your meal. You quickly find out why the manager was so keen to fob you off with seating his latest, rather eccentric guests. <laughs> there are eight men waiting... <sighs>
What will the ducks reveal? That's the ticket! My, my, my! Weren't you in a hurry? No mistakes made, too, you great big swat! Well done! Please take this 